manager here at the Home Orchard Society Demonstration Orchard in Oregon City. Uh, this is a 1.6 acre demonstration orchard that is mixed species. So everything that we can grow in the Pacific Northwest, we try and have it represented here. Uh, this 1.6 acre space brings in about 10,000 pounds of fruit every year. The Home Orchard Society started in 1975 with a group of hobbyists in Portland, Oregon. Um, these were just people that loved to grow fruit and started collecting and sharing their uh, harvest and their propagation material with others in the region as well as around the world. Um, in 1986, they built a demonstration orchard so they, so they, could, they could teach classes and demonstrate proper fruit growing techniques for the Pacific Northwest. So at the, here at the Home Orchard Society Demonstration Orchard, we have approximately 24 different species of fruiting plants, vines, shrubs, trees. Um, as far as the varietals, we have approximately 125 to 150 different types of apples. 30 to 40 different types of European pears, 15 different kinds of Asian pears, 20 different kinds of blueberries. The list could go on and on. We've got multiple varieties of each of these species. They all have different soil requirements as far as the species are concerned. Uh, one of the problems that we have here in the Willamette Valley is heavy clay soils. Um, that is definitely an issue that we face here at our Oregon City site. Um, we are on a college campus and the college cornered out this area of campus because the soil was so poor and they allowed us to rent this space for very, very cheap and that's one of the reasons why because they couldn't really grow a whole lot on it. This orchard was uh, planted by hobbyists and years ago organic agriculture wasn't nearly as highly impressed upon as it is these days um, and so this orchard was managed um, using conventional methods and over the years um, it did a lot of damage to our soil and to the beneficial insects and um, microbes that are available in healthy clean soils. Um, copper is organic uh, but it does have a tendency to build up in our soils and that's one of the issues that we face here is that we have a high copper levels in our soils. They're not toxic at this point, um, but it's one of the organic measures that we cannot take because we don't want to risk any more copper toxicity in our soil. Um, so that tends to be a little bit problematic. Copper has been used historically and is currently still being used for fungal disorders of stone fruits and palm fruits. So stone, anything with a pit, palm fruits, anything with seeds, five seeds, apples, pears, quince. Um, it has been shown to be the only organic fungicide that really uh, has a good impact on the health of stone fruit. Um, with apples and pears, we can use sulfur and lime sulfur, but those are not effective on stone fruit fungus fungus currently the home orchard society has approximately 638 members we are a 501c3 nonprofit and we're member based or our members pay us um, an annual fee which helps to maintain this space part of hos membership is access to propagation material from our demonstration orchard here as well as a quarterly newsletter or magazine about fruit growing. The Home Orchard Society also hosts two large events throughout the year. One is in the fall, it's the fruit tasting, the All About Fruit Show, and our spring show is a propagation fair or a scion exchange. Members get um, discounted tickets to those two events and they're well attended uh, from people from Oregon, California, Washington, Idaho, and some people even come from as far as California and New York. So uh, one of the benefits of having this outdoor educational lab is the ability to teach multiple workshops throughout the year. Having such a diverse um, palette of plant species, we can 
individualize our classes and specialize our classes to deal with apples or pears or stone fruit or raspberries, blueberries. We currently host about 26 workshops a year and we build on that every year. All of our workshops are hands-on, so students have the ability to have a trained professional standing right behind them, um, giving them pointers and guidelines so that they feel a little bit more confident going home and pruning their own plants. So the Home Orchard Society is a relatively unique organization. There are other organizations throughout the country that are geared towards fruit growers. Um, North American Fruit Explorers is one, California Rare Fruit. I don't think either of those organizations have an outdoor laboratory or a demonstration orchard. Um, I think they have a little bit more of an online presence and so um, members coordinate amongst themselves and host smaller scion exchanges and um, fruit tasting events. Um, I don't know how much education those organizations support. I know that they have a lot of online material that can um, benefit people in those specific regions.